Yeah, and I, I don't think it's all uh, policing either. I mean, we've heard all the different stories. I think there, there also needs to be some empowerment and also responsibility put on the people in these neighborhoods as well. And it's tricky because we're, we hear all the, you know, you get the left-right schism uh, talking about it. I don't think any of that works anymore. I think that it's all hands on deck. And uh, part of it is within the community. I don't think there's any excuse to hurt someone else. And uh, there seems to be a lot of people that just turn a blind eye to what's going on in certain neighborhoods. No, well, the, the community involvement is key. That's why issues like, you know, the guardian angels looking at coming up and some other things. I mean, they don't come up to be Americans running it up here. What they do is they recruit local people in the community. They help them be the eyes and ears to do the work and start taking pride in their uh, in their neighborhood. Let's take a call here. Uh, Ruth, uh, welcome to the Leech. If you're on with Ross McLean, Joe Warmington. Ruth uh, lives in Ontario Housing. I do, and I'm a tenant representative. And when I came in, it's because I got very sick and I'm getting disabled. But I saw that could be done, what could be done or what needed to be done. What do you think that would be, Ruth? Education is number one. Education. Where I come from in Jamaica, education comes first. Too many times people are talking about basketball, basketball. You can have sports. I believe in sports. I believe in sports. There are so many sports out there. And then I see people walking around saying they're bored. How can you be bored when there's so many sports out there? Uh, do you have a question for Ruth, Ross? You know what? She makes an excellent point. All this talk about basketball and sports, which kind of makes me wonder a bit too, but she's right. It should be tied to education. Cool. You know, you know, if you want to be able to use those uh, courts or you want to be able to join a team, you should have to carry a certain grade point average or something. That would be a great way of uh, tying it together. I think that's a great point by Ruth. You see, I was, I was brought up in Jamaica and one of the best schools. And um, competitive nature started from the very, very beginning, very, very young. A sense of competition, a sense of pride that you're going to do the best for you and your school and then the long run, your country. Now, Ruth, let but, me ask you a question about living in Ontario housing. Do you have fear yourself and have you seen uh, people with gangsters with guns and all that kind of stuff? Is no, it rampant not there? not really. I have started programs here which are not com- not completed. You yeah. know, I, I don't have any guns in mind and all that, but I know that... Do you have, children, are, do you have children yourself? Pardon? Do you have children yourself? No, but I have a lot of relatives, a lot of young people. Yeah. Well, what's and going- I got some money for them, and I started programs for them. That's a bit continued, you know. Um, it is got of, of half the half the times it does things that cut off half the way, and then it stops. And once it stops, they they do, they don't have any pride in themselves anymore. The mothers need to do a lot too. Well, that's the thing I was going to ask is that you hear all about the fathers, the absent uh, fathers, but the mothers are, are part of this as well. I think that it goes even way beyond that. I mean, that's just a, a talk. It's one of the, the factors. It, uh, it's one of the factors. You know, a, a great thing to read up on, I know that Ross McLeod talked about it before because his company was involved with it, other Jane and Finch. Everybody should Google uh, San Romano Way. Uh, revitalization project. I, I lived there in the oh, beginning. Well, there, well, okay, well, there, well, there you are. I have a link to it on my uh, Facebook page, the study. And what it talks about is they, they brought in uh, everybody in the community got together to make that community better. In fact, uh, the police aren't even really so much part of that project as they are, they just cooperate with it. And that's been studied across uh, North America by criminologists and whatnot. And we need to talk about the people in this community and that community. We're a mixed town downtown. It's um, the rich and poor, the young and the old. And we are not lost among, among the people who are so-called better than us well, by jobs. You know? Well, that's the thing. I, you know, I don't believe that there is anybody better than anyone else. And I think that she's right about that, that that is one of the problems that I've seen in this. And it's all well-meaning when you hear people talking about certain communities. I feel it's all one community. I, I agree, Joe. And you know what? There's a bit of a stereotype uh, that... You know, while stereotypes are there for a reason, uh, you read up about the makeup of the people that are in Ontario housing, and you've got people who are seniors, people, some of them are disabled, some of them are single mothers, some of them are single fathers. I mean, there's a variety of people there. And you know what? They all want to live a life as well. 90% of the people in, in, in my building work. Well, that, that's 90%. a great point. That's a great point. You know? 
But the single mother jargon has to stop because most of those kids have fathers too. Okay, Ruth, well, listen, I really appreciate the call. Please call us again, and good luck out there, and let us know anything that's happening, and if you ever, you know, uh, just call any time. It's really great to hear from you. Okay, love. All the best. Let's bring